Hey guys, I am Varun, and we are back for another round of Fudo Micro Grants. This week, we have the interns taking over, so that's really exciting. May or may not see the company in shambles next week, so that's fun. And just to kind of introduce some of ourselves, we've got Brandon on my right over here. Yo. We've got Nick. Hey. And we've got Aiden. Hello. And this is the class of interns. So just to go right into the micro grants, my pick this month is called OpenHab. It's a home automation software, free and open source, of course. And what they do is they kind of combine all the technologies that you find in a house, where there would be like lighting, uh, Google Home, all that kind of stuff. Because as we know, technology is progressively increasing. More people have these kind of devices in their homes. And it kind of gets difficult to manage all these different companion apps, these different softwares. And OpenHab is basically providing one source, one interface where you can interact with all these different uh, platforms, devices, and it allows you to customize them a lot more than you would be able to using the company software. So it really just helps simplify the process for the user and gives them a lot of customizability, which is what I really like about this product. One thing I think they could improve, and they do preface this with their product, one thing I think they can improve on is their usability in terms of the average user. They do say it's used for more tech savvy people for the setup at least, but I feel like if they opened up their user experience to the average user, they could gain a lot more traction. And now I'm gonna pass it on to Brandon to talk more about his micro grant. Right, so I picked Gadget Bridge, which is an open source Android app for pairing with smartwatches or Bluetooth headphones with your phone. Um, what's great about it is that it allows using the more advanced features like maybe a step counter or on headphones you might be able to toggle active noise canceling, but you don't have to use the company's proprietary companion app. Instead, you can use GadgetBridge, which is open source and does not even request network permission. So you know you can trust it. It won't be doing anything suspicious. All right, Nick, what's your pick? So I picked Asahi Linux, which is working on porting Linux to the newer MacBook Pros that run on the M-series chips. I think this is important as these chips are made by Apple and it's a completely new paradigm to run Linux on. And I think we need to have open source software running on these MacBooks. Um, I think they have a little bit of work to do um, and, you know, uh, some user experience stuff and, you know, porting the more advanced features of the MacBook. But I think it's a really interesting project and I'd really like to see it move forward. So, Aiden, what's your pick? My micro grant pick for this month is Lee Chess. Lee Chess is a free and open source chess platform with no ads. Lee Chess has unlimited games, puzzles, and tournaments, all for free. These tournaments are participated in by the wider Lee Chess community that plays 5 million games per day, as well as contains top players like Magnus Carlsen and Hikari Nakamura. It just is a really fun platform and all of you should give it a try. All right. Thank you all so much for watching here on the Fudo channel. That was our pick for micro grants. So we hope you all enjoyed. We're going to have all the links down below in the description and you can feel free to take a look at some of these projects yourselves. We think some of them are really cool and it would be really awesome if some of you donated, if you do like it enough, of course. Uh, we hope to see you all next month for the next round of micro grants and thank you.